Yo, 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 Michael T. Porter here. Welcome to Rooted in Music TV, where everything that we talk about, everything that we discuss is rooted in music. I got another bomb episode for y'all, but before I begin, y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button, pass me around, pass me around, Facebook, Instagram, and all of the social media platforms, and y'all know how I feel about my chizzing. If you guys like to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, Michael US. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Don't forget to check out my Spotify podcast, the 250 Gemstones Culture Podcast. Link is in the description. Y'all stay and watch the whole video. We need to talk. Oh, we need to talk. Kelly Rowland, she looks so good. She's so fine. If I can get some of that chocolate, but she married. But here's the thing. Kelly Rowland was getting harassed by security at a red carpet event, and she wasn't having it. And she's saying that huh, that security guard was real. Oh yeah, I said the R word, sue me. Music lovers, I have a video I want to play for y'all, and I'm going to be right back with you to give you my opinion. Let's go. That viral moment at camp. Damn. At the premiere of a film called Marcelo Mio on Tuesday, the singer had a bit of a tense exchange with security on the red carpet. Damn, she's fine. I was like, oh my gosh. And now she's speaking out about what went down between the two in a new interview with AP Entertainment. The woman knows what happened. I know what happened. And um, I have a boundary. And I stand by those boundaries. And that is it. Yeah, Kelly's standing by her decision to confront the usher for seemingly... And, and the usher look masculine. Kelly Rowland, I didn't know. Ooh, she's just a woman. Stand her ground. She's beautiful. She doesn't take no shit. She's talented. Did I say she was fine? Lord, have mercy. She ain't playing with y'all folks. She ain't playing with y'all. Rushing her up the steps. Claiming she didn't see anyone else on the carpet getting that kind of treatment. And there were other women that attended that carpet who did not quite look like me. And they didn't get there, scolded, or pushed off, or told to get off. And um, I stood my ground. And she felt like she had to stand there, but I stood my ground. And I was like, an insider tells the Daily Mail, red carpet staff was being aggressive, and Kelly was trying to ignore it. But by the time she got to the last security member, she had had it. While Kelly was trying to wave to fans and help the paparazzi get their shot, the staffer allegedly scolded her, telling her to move. Ooh. I was like, wait a second, excuse me? And according to Daily Mail source, Kelly doesn't care if she comes across like a diva, if she knows that she is advocating for herself. I mean, let's be very clear. Now, Kelly's definitely never been one to shy away from advocating for herself. And it's nothing I can't do. Earlier this year, she last minute dropped out from guest hosting the Today Show. I gave her a call. I said, come on, girl, we're waiting. Why? Well, reportedly, she wasn't all that thrilled with her dressing room backstage. I have Man. great love and admiration for Kelly Rowland. Mm -hmm. I adore her. And I want her to come back on our show. And I She's want her to host again. Any of course time. she is. Of course she is. She's she can share my dressing room. We'll be in it together. Well, can we also jump in and talk about those dressing rooms at the Today Show? Oh. What gives? They are making headlines. None of them are that great. But here's the thing. <laughs> we were she said none of them dressing rooms. Yeah, y'all be looking horrible going out there. She said none of the dressing rooms are great. They cramped. They stink. They're musty. The clothes are ragged. I mean, she's a nice woman, but look at her. Look at her suit. Is that yellow or green? It looked like mustard. It looked like somebody told her to come down to the Wiener Schnitzel. And they took it a bucket of mustard and just poured it on this lady. Lord, have mercy. Progress. Right. Here, it's kind of the charm of the Today Show. If you've ever been backstage to Broadway and gone to one of those dressing rooms, you're like, these people stay in these tiny rooms yeah. for months and months. That's kind of what the Today Show is. Yeah. It's like you walk around, and it's such it's such a beautiful place, but there's the tiny little spaces in the belly of York City. Well, Rockefeller yeah. Center is tiny. There's no room there. <laughs> <laughs> Even though Kelly didn't fulfill her co-hosting <laughs> duties then, Oda Godby says she's ready for a redo. 
Oh, were you bummed that you weren't able to co-host the fourth hour with I Kelly? Was, I was bummed. I love Kelly. Yeah. We love Kelly. We adore her. She is, she's one of our all-time faves. Right. And there's no one who's more gracious or graceful than Kelly. So hopefully we'll do a redo. Would y'all like my opinion? Would y'all like some of this rooted in music TV commentary? Well, of course you do. That's why your ass is here. Kelly Rowland wasn't going for the BS. She wasn't going for the, uh, the the banana in the tailpipe. She said, I looked around and there were other women who didn't have my same skin color and they did not get treated like that. And Kelly Rowland got their old, Kelly Rowland, no, nah, she's a gospel, no, that's Michelle. I think Kelly Rowland does sing gospel too, but she, her body, you can tell she worked out. You see all the muscles in her back, beautiful back, beautiful back. And she, she went like this. Don't you ever talk to me like that. And I, and I can read this pretty good now. She said, don't you ever talk to me like that. Ooh, this is Kelly Rowland. The good morning, uh, what's that? Uh, good morning today. On the Today Show, they said uh, they would love to have Kelly Rowland. They love Kelly Rowland. I don't know too many people who don't love Kelly Rowland. She's black. She's dark skinned. She's beautiful. She's talented. She's a diva. She's a queen. And, and... I don't know why everybody tried to take shots at her. Just like I did a story a while back of how that ugly ass South African uh, radio host said that Kelly Rowland was ugly. They did now this uh, South African radio host. She had a big old gap in her teeth. She's fat now. She's she's cute. I ain't trying to put down my black women, but you ain't no Kelly Rowland. I dare you with your hungry, hungry hippo ass talk about this beautiful queen Kelly Rowland. She was just hating. And I think the security guard at this red carpet event was hating on Kelly Rowland too. Why y'all keep messing with Kelly? She don't bother nobody. She's classy. Man, if I ever marry a woman, it would be, uh, like I, I like all women. I'm pro-black, but I ain't that pro-black because I'm slamming the white girls. I'm I'm stuffing them little snow bunnies. You understand them? Like, Come in, little bunny. <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> Ling Ling, I'm getting that fortune cookie, uh, my Latinas. I'm gonna get that taco. Bring that taco over here. I, I, I need that. Middle Eastern, they got some beautiful Middle Eastern women. But when it comes to black women doing their thing, it's a beautiful thing, especially coming from the black community to see so many black women emotionally uh, distraught, so many black women traumatized, so many black women don't have self-worth. It's just a breath of fresh, fresh air to see a black woman hold her own to see a black woman don't take no shit. To see a black woman who can read between the lines, intelligent. If I ever marry a woman, I want to be like Kelly. The whole, that, this is what, Kelly Rowland is what you call the whole package. Now word on the street. This is why Beyonce kicked her ass out the group because Kelly Rowland was shining. And Kelly Rowland was shining right when the, the dark skin... See, there was an era where dark skin women weren't getting that much love. And she came in the era where the dark skin women weren't getting that much love in the media, in the entertainment world. And it, it, there was a transition shift. Now all the dark skin women getting all the love. Oh, man. So she was shining when being black was a bad thing. When being a dark skin black woman was a bad thing. Y'all flood my comments. What do y'all think about Kelly Rowland standing up to that racist security guard at the red carpet event, 250 capital G, rooted in music TV? I'm gone.